I'm so excited to be back. It's been such a long time since I posted a video up here, but I thought I would get on here and kind of do a, like an update slash, I guess it's a pregnancy video. So <laughs> you guys know I like to do uh, pregnancy vlogs on here. This whole pregnancy for this third baby, yes, it's a different baby. This is not Durham. <laughs> uh, has been kind of crazy, so I haven't posted any pregnancy vlogs at all, but I thought I would get on here and kind of tell you a little bit about what's been going on. So I have two kids, you guys know Hiram and Durham. Hiram is now three and Durham is one. And when Durham was eight months, I found out that he, that I was pregnant. Maybe he was smaller than eight months. Maybe he was like seven months or something like that. So as you can tell, that was, that's pretty crazy. And so um, it, it kind of, I don't know, took me for a little trip and a little spin. And it took me a while to kind of under, like realize and like, I don't know, be okay with it, I guess. I don't know. It was a surprise baby, and it was really difficult because I was in no means ready. My body wasn't ready. Um, and so it was kind of hard for me and emotional. And so um, that's kind of when I stopped YouTube, doing YouTube for a while. And uh, now I'm 39 months, I'm um, 39 weeks today. 39 months, whoa, that'd be a crazy pregnancy. I don't think I could deal with that. 39 weeks today and uh, I still have baby in my belly. So I thought I would just film a video and kind of show you guys my belly at some point and um, kind of tell you guys about this pregnancy. So I'm due May 13th, um, it is a boy. And <laughs> so as you guys know, I have two other boys. So I'm gonna have three boys in this house. <sighs> I know. I know, it's a bunch of craziness, but uh, I'm really excited, and this whole pregnancy has been like so different than any of my other pregnancies. First off, it's been super emotional and like, like I feel like I'm on a ride because of just like how fast I'm having another baby, like how close Durham and this new baby is going to be. So. Um, the name that we're thinking for this new baby, and it's not for sure, is Strickland. So I'm going to just refer to him as Strickland. So uh, it was kind of crazy the first like four months. I was so incredibly emotional. So emotional. Like angry, sad, um, just like hating life. I don't know. It was really hard for me emotionally this time. And um, not to mention my weight was... I was not gaining nearly anything like I was super I've been super small this whole pregnancy um, I think I barely getting close to 24 pounds that I've gained um, and he's still healthy in there I mean it's 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 definitely different because my other pregnancies I think with Durham I gained 50 pounds which isn't necessarily unhealthy um it's just i i would retain a lot of water weight i don't know the doctor never said anything that there was a problem um because i would gain it consistent i would gain pounds consistently week after week but this baby it's like oh it's just you're the same weight as last week oh you're the same weight as two weeks ago and so he hasn't said anything he says i'm perfectly healthy the baby's growing big and i can feel already that he's holy crap he's gonna be big because my babies are big Durham, when he was born, he was eight pounds, 14 ounce, eight pounds, 10 ounces, and he was on his due date. Hiram, he was two weeks early and he was seven, 14. I'm not particularly a big person. I'm five, six. My husband's like five, eight and a half, five, nine. And so we're not big people, but I don't know. Our babies are big and their heads are huge. Like my kids have huge heads and I'm hoping that like whenever I do have girls that they're smaller. But anyways, <laughs> so I can feel like now that how big he's getting, even though I weigh the same that I've weighed for the last like two weeks, he's big. And I don't know if you've seen my, my other pregnancy vlogs, but you can tell like my face, I'm not as swollen as I was before. Like I feel so much healthier and I don't know, I just felt good because I don't feel Mommy. like I look super big, Mommy. pregnant, like swollen. Mommy. And so I really like that. Anyway, so we are super excited now. I mean, it's not that I wasn't excited before, but it's like a shock. Like, I just had a baby and I'm having another one? What? 
Um, but so for the last, I think at 36 weeks, I went in and the doctor said, oh, you're dilated and you're almost completely effaced. You need to not be on bed rest, but you need to like lay down and rest because if not, you're going to have this baby way too early. And so, um, so I kind of did that for a couple weeks and now I'm 39 weeks and the baby still isn't coming. And I'm like, darn it. But, um, I am two centimeters dilated. I'm completely effaced and I'm just kind of waiting for the past like three days. I've noticed like a complete change. Like I've noticed really strong Braxton Hicks consistently yesterday it was all day long and at night and a lot of pressure so I think maybe baby's gonna be coming soon um, maybe by this weekend it's Thursday today so I I don't know I I know it's like wishful thinking like oh I hope baby comes but I really have been feeling a lot of pressure and oh my gosh Braxton Hicks that hurt and so sometimes I'm like oh am I in labor like is this labor and I'll wait and then it you know it's not consistent enough so but um I don't know I feel with this baby like I felt a lot of movement oh tired I felt a lot of movement and a lot of pressure more than the other ones so it feels completely different than the other pregnancies um so as far as my weight for those of you that want to know um i am 169 i've been 169 for the past like three weeks and um i started out being 147 so that's about Twenty two pounds I've gained. Um, and I don't know if you look at me, you'll be like, really, you're due any day. Like I, I look small and people say that to me all the time. Like you're ready to have a baby. You don't look like you're ready. Yes. I have a week until baby comes until my due date and hopefully baby comes before then. But, um, I'm excited. I, I kind of have everything ready. I have my uh, hospital bag ready. Um, I have baby's bag ready. We're just excited to have another little baby. Um, we decided on Strickland. It's more my husband's doing. He likes that name. I don't know where he got that name. It's more of like a last name. But um, yeah. This pregnancy I've noticed I was a lot sicker in the beginning. And um, I noticed that I had a lot of, uh, he was always on my, like, nerve. What's that nerve called? You know what I'm talking about? I've had so many babies, I don't even remember anymore. But the nerve that kind of makes your leg go numb, like where he's, sciatic nerve. So he's been, he sits on my sciatic nerve and he's been doing that since forever ago. Like more than any of the other babies. That's probably the biggest problem I've had throughout the pregnancy is just the pain. My leg goes numb, like my back and bum and down my leg just hurt. Um, so I've been getting in baths like nobody's business, sometimes twice a day. Um, and so also like the middle of my back, since I'm carrying him so low, he dropped so long ago and I'm just carrying him so low that like the middle of my back gets like this swollen like patch where it just like looks inflamed and swollen. And my husband has been like massaging like my lower back and like my leg where kind of where my sciatic nerve kind of runs every single night. And holy crap, what a difference does that make? You guys, if you guys are women or if you guys are men watching this, like a massage goes such a long way like I had such a hard time sleeping because my legs would my um, sides of my legs would go numb or they would like spaz or cramp because of not being able to lay any other way and because of where the baby was positioned to the point where like it was so painful like I would just sit up throughout the night and like watch YouTube videos because I, I couldn't sleep. And as soon as he started actually massaging out like all those swollen parts and massaging out my lower back, 
I would go to sleep and I wouldn't wake up till morning. Like it felt so good. Like my mood was better. I was happier. Um, I felt like my body felt better just from those massages. And then after the massage, I would go to sleep with like a warm, um, like a warm pad or like a warm, a heating pad. And oh my gosh, did my sleeping get better? My mood got better. <laughs> like everything got better just from that. So seriously, I know, I think the first two pregnancies, I never needed a massage. Like, not that I didn't need it. I sure I needed it. But I never thought, I was like, oh, massage. Feels good for the moment. Who cares? Because then once you're done, it's not going to feel good anymore. I'm going to be hurting again. But no, it makes a difference. And especially in how you sleep. So if you have trouble sleeping, try doing that. Try having your significant other give you like a massage in your lower back or any of those problem areas, stuff like that, or on the sides of your legs. Because since you can only sleep on the sides, I feel like they'll spaz and they'll get tired from just sleeping on that side. And so that's been helping, not to mention I have a pregnancy pillow that helped in the beginning of my pregnancy, but now that I'm bigger, it's kind of like nothing's helping except for a massage. So that was pretty good. But yeah, I think that that's it. I just thought I would update you guys. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys the right, belly. So here's the belly. Sorry, I have a little stain right there but you see what I'm talking about like I don't look super big <laughs> I look pretty that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that this kind of updated you guys and let you know what's going on I did just post a makeup video today like a favorites because yeah I'm trying to get back into filming YouTube right before I have baby and then I'm gonna have baby but it's gonna be like off and on for a month but I'm excited so yeah I hope you guys are doing well. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.